Beloved ones, the world is created moment to moment, thought by thought, and it is held in place by a resistance in any form. Resistance is the glue that holds the world together, for resistance keeps love from flowing and moving and being able to penetrate the dream, the illusion, and to bathe you in the experience of the truth. It is an amazing experience for you to shift to your heart and to feel this vibration of endless joy and ecstasy. It is beautiful, this communion, when the circle of love is complete. For most of you, you are yet finding that these moments don't continue and you return again to living in and with the little mind. So it is time, beloved ones, to change this, to bring your thoughts consciously into your heart to allow love to penetrate what you believe is true about everything, about life, about you, about your story, and about the simple things that you take for granted that are part of this consensual ball of wax. Simple things are like trees are green and they are rooted in the earth, or I should be different than this. Every thought that contains a should must be brought to the heart immediately. But then you need to listen, dear ones, to what your heart tells you. Allow this love to penetrate every belief that you have about everything and see what love says the truth is. The truth that lives behind this thinking person whose mind creates a continuum of time and the identity of a human being. It is time to take this to your heart and to do it until you are free, until love is the view that you hold in each moment and thus Love can move in the world purposefully and gloriously as you. I promise you, for each of you, there are thoughts that you have hidden from yourself or that are so much part of your internal landscape that you don't even know that they are going on. And so, as you come to me in meditation, you are free. When you find yourself in a moment, perhaps in nature beyond time, you can feel what it means to be a being of boundless love living in a world where the energy is free to move and to be born brand new right here again in this now moment perfectly. It is moving beyond the world of thought that delivers you into real freedom and therefore you must use this love to shine the light of true reality on that which you have allowed to continue to create the world of duality. Every thought is important because it is a key to your heart's belief and it is the veil through which you see the world. It creates your egoic experience. The light of pure consciousness penetrates this veil and the power of real love dissolves it, that you can be present in me and with me and as the whole of God present in the world, that love may be born as humanity in the wholeness and perfection of God I am now. There is no way to create this perfection through the mind, no matter how hard you try to imagine a world of only love. No matter how often you visualize yourself as a perfect being, an expression of God, as the Christ alive here on earth, the mind has no reference point for this beauty. Only the heart can contain this power. But the power of love has the ability to transform every resistance of the mind into the heart's field of grace grace being the movement of God in your life, as your life expressing your truth and your real nature with every magnificent heartbeat of the shining love you are. There are many possibilities for examining thoughts, many wonderful teachers who have been expressing tools. What is most important is that you allow love to move, that you can be born from the spirit and all the fullness that you really are right now. I promise you, when you allow this, the exquisite joy of feeling this freedom will allow you to live as the extension of love and give you the means to be the heart of God lovingly touching everything and holding it in this inclusive circle of real love. I have been pouring continual upliftment and support for the shift to the heart to everyone, but the little mind is tenacious and keeps itself hidden from you by presenting its views as reality. They are so much a part of your experience of life that you don't even question them. And then I hear your prayers. Help me, God, to be free. I want to be the heart of God on earth. Let me be a vehicle, O beloved Creator, for the pure outreach of the one I am, 
that every life might feel the truth and be free within it. And yet, the mind continues and you wake each day thinking, and the stream of thoughts create a reality that, beloved ones, is full of resistance. Resistance to love, although you wouldn't call it this. But resistance in any form is the opposite of the flow of the dynamic, unimpeded expression of love that life truly is. Whatever you resist comes from the mind and creates a block in the flow of your brand new birth as the glorious heart of God in your fullness and magnificence in this moment, appearing with all that you need to be the vehicle of perfect inclusiveness and the power of love in the world. You are placed here to be the energy source for this change, choosing to be alive in this time to be the resonance of love that every and any heart can latch onto and use this resonance this power of love, to experience true life, true freedom, and indescribable riches of the unified consciousness that is the communion of love that you call humanity. It is a communion so marvelous that every quantum spark of energy delights in the blessing of meeting itself, expressed as another aspect of the whole of God I am in each other. The opening to the flow of life is astounding. It is a feast of love. It is truly the orgasmic experience of creation appearing now, right now, as you in all your magnificent splendor. You emerge whole and beautiful and contain every key that you will need to gift each other, to open the treasure trove of life that is this world in all its glory, this scintillating creation of the heart of love seen itself everywhere. What blocks this birth is the little mind. It is your thought about life, about who you are. Thoughts about what the world is and what you don't like. What you do like, what you wish were different, and what the world means. Every mind in agreement creates more density and thus allows the pulsations of life to be deflected into that backward swirling vortex that is the reversal of love. The free and open consciousness and heart is the very moment of creation, bursting forth in power and magnificence and in the outreach or inclusiveness which is the truth of this communion. There is no one reaching to another. In truth, there are simply the cells in the heart of God singing life to each other. Yet every thought of separation creates an experience of density. The open mind is experiencing consciousness, the clarity of love, the purpose of creation. The heart then can be primary. Little mind can be an unnecessary accoutrement, though it will attempt to convince you otherwise. As the world comes forth from the Spirit, as you are born in me in ecstasy now, love then creates every expression of life and in creating it, creates a communion with all of life in which appears as the world is not only blessed, but reflecting perfectly the perfection and abundance of God. And thus light dances forth, dressed in luminous colors while they beat at the cosmic heart sustains it, fuels it. What appears as the world is allowed then to be very different from the world that the little mind has created. And you first are the luminous dreamer and then you are simply love, acknowledging itself endlessly. While words cannot contain the reality of God, the wholeness, the movement, the perfection of love, your heart is aware of all that is being born as you right now, and it can be lived, experienced, embraced when the mind is open and resistance is gone. You yourself can feel this resistance any time there is judgment at all. If you pay attention, you can feel the vibration of confusion when your heart says to you, that is a part of yourself that you are judging. When there is not openness and acceptance of who you are, of your beauty, of your life, and of the power of your choosing to be right where you are as the extension of my heart, then that resistance makes you very uncomfortable because your heart knows the truth and sees only your beauty. All the ways the mind works to convince you that you are not perfect are ways that separate you from the real of love. Your every breath is meant to show you my unending love. Your every heartbeat is receiving the gift of life, and even the idea of needing to accept your perfection of your beauty is proof that you also believe the opposite. So when you find a thought and bring it forth consciously that tells you anything other than shift to your heart, bring this thought to love, 
Hold it in your heart, dear ones, and listen to my voice as I assist you to dissolve it. The moment it dissolves, you can feel the truth. You can feel the charge as we connect as you are connected to your source again. You can feel the moment, feel the reel of love charged up with the light, with such love for everything that the whole of the world is held in your heart, washed in cosmic feelings of tender inclusiveness and celebrated with cosmic joy. Each of you has certain thoughts that create the most resistance to love. Some of these are the foundation upon which the whole personality is built. For example, perhaps the foundational thought is, I am not good enough. Whatever it is, ask to consciously see it and bring it to your heart until you feel the truth that the resistance to love has been dissolved. Until you let in the flow of God that is what you are, that is endlessly moving. Even if your point of service still appears as a body, you are no longer identified with the construct of personality as you dismantle the illusory dream moment by moment. Love has to penetrate this illusion. The shift to the heart must include the mind. It must include allowing real consciousness to penetrate these places where the consensual reality is hooked and you believe you are the limited human. Give love the final word on everything. As you do, you will be astounded at what you believed. You will be amazed at all those hidden thoughts that have continued to tell you whatever is. That you should be different. That you should be better. That you are not perfectly right where you stand. This is the separation, beloved ones, for me. And it works, doesn't it? Consistently every time. Your heart knows that you are perfect love. This is the truth of your being and the only voice that I want you to hear. My voice telling you this, I want you to feel the moment of birth when the miracle of our relationship is born and you look to me with the eyes of your heart and you are inundated with my joy and my seeing you as perfect, as the most truly magnificent expression of my heart in ways I have never even knew I possessed. And here you are, a miracle of love. Can you feel just how much I value you and how in this now moment we are the burst of joy that is so powerful it can't be contained? Therefore it becomes consciousness expressed, galaxies of tender communion with the aspects of love, all of which are expanding at exponential rates in harmony of gratitude for the miracle of life. This is who you are. Accept nothing less, and accept my only feelings divine that lift you and open you and inspire you to be the whole of creation, singing this song of joy as you burst into awareness of the whole again, seeing yourself in my eyes, and accepting my gratitude for your presence and the miracle of my own awakening, which means that you are fully awake. You cannot be other than pure consciousness and love. So it is time to question anything that says anything else about yourself, about anyone on earth, about any aspect of life. Let it dissolve in your love. Release it and be free to allow love to move, to live as you. Heart open and experience the surprise of brand new life being born as you this moment and the miracle of your relationship with the all. And thus your reverence for the world and the heart's ability to see it all as love. I am with you, assisting you to dissolve the veil, the veil of thoughts that create duality, and I am here to be that which loves you absolutely, perfectly, and brings you the expression of your birth as the heart of God. As the mind loses its potency, bows to the heart and the ego is released, you will be free to live this light and to allow this love to live as you, fully present and continually surprised at what I bring you to love. Amen.